fellow songwriters, Happy New Year. This week I've been collecting New Year's resolutions from different songwriters and what I keep hearing is, this year I want to finish songs. I think it's notable that people aren't saying this year I want to write songs. <laughs> There's this distinction. And sometimes people mean that they want to begin and complete a song. Sometimes what people mean is actually those 20 songs that are partially written and stuffed in a drawer, I want to finish some of those. In both cases, people are pointing to a difficulty with crossing the finish line of their songs. I think the reason that finishing songs is so hard has to do with the nature of songwriting in general. Songwriting isn't like baking a cake or doing the dishes or mowing the lawn. It's not about setting aside a certain amount of time and putting in a certain amount of effort to complete a task. There's this element of magic to it. There's this element of co-creating with our inspiration. Basically, there's this element that's beyond our control. So how can we write, let alone finish a song if it's not entirely in our control? I want to offer some strategies around that today, and I want to do so first by breaking down the songwriting process into two stages. The first stage, I'm gonna call that the first inspiration. And then the second stage, I'm just gonna call the rest of it. <laughs> so let's talk about that first moment of inspiration. Think about the last time you got an inspiration for a song. Maybe it's a little bit of lyric that sounds really good to you. Maybe it's a little bit of melody that you catch yourself singing. Maybe it's a big, powerful emotion that makes you feel like you want to express something. Maybe it's a concept that's so fascinating to you that you feel like you want to distill it in a song. No matter what it is, that moment is so potent. It's so powerful. It contains so much energy and more than that, it contains so much vision. Even though you just got this little tidbit, you know, you feel the entirety of the song and, and you know what direction to go in. It's very tempting in that moment to take it for granted, to think, wow, this is so powerful. This is so cool. I can get back to this whenever I want. And then you think, you know, Thursday, 2 p.m. looks good. I don't have anything going on that day. Don't do that to yourself. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. You're not ever going to get back into that exact moment. You're most powerful in your song inspiration right then. More than you'll ever be again. So imagine that you're out in the ocean and this little bit of music it's a big wave that's coming toward you. You've got to catch that wave and you've got to ride it as far into shore as you possibly can, right then and there. Logistically, this may mean putting off a couple errands or eating lunch an hour later or maybe even postponing a meeting if you possibly can. But you're going to be doing yourself a great service. And then, yeah, get to work. See how far you can get. Write all the lyric you can possibly imagine. Write all the melody you hear. Write all the chord progression that you hear. But even more than that, it's tempting to kind of get down everything you heard and then feel really good about yourself. Like, ah, oh, I got a lot done today. But there's much more at stake than that. It's not just about our feeling good about our productivity. This is our chance to really make headway on our song. So after you get to all the lyric you imagined, Keep writing, even if it's just longhand, even if you're just kind of journaling at that point, get more language down. If you get all of your melody down that you've heard, keep singing melodic fragments, even if you're maybe singing a different song at this point, just keep producing material and document all of it. Document every little thought you have, every little melodic fragment that you hear. Act as if the process is the product. It's like you're not even writing a song at this point. You're just writing a song process because what you're doing is you're mapping out all the different places where you can possibly re-enter your song in the future. Okay, that's it. That's stage one, riding that first creative wave. 
Now stage two, it's about riding waves also. It's about, it's about riding smaller waves. And before I get into it, I must, I must do my part to debunk a myth. I've been wanting to debunk this myth for quite a while. <laughs> Have you ever heard songwriters draw a distinction between the creating and the editing? Have you ever heard yourself draw that distinction? Have you ever heard yourself diagnose yourself and say, oh, I'm really great at the creative part and I'm just a terrible editor? First of all, stop that. Stop doing that. You're using all of your precious creativity to create a narrative around your songwriting process. <laughs> we need all that creative energy for your song. <laughs> Second of all, it's just not true. Editing isn't different. It's not different. What is editing except re-entering the flow of your songwriting? And yeah, it's, it's harder. It's harder because the wave isn't just coming toward you like when you first thought of your song. You have to actually go out and find the waves now. But all it is, is, is getting back into your flow, is getting back into that impulse toward the shore, toward the finish line. Okay, so how do we do that? How do we get back into this song? How do we get through a portal that's effectively shut? <laughs> I have three ways that I want to throw out there today. The first way is through language. I want you to write or talk your way back in. For me, I'm such a writer, I'm such an introvert. How I do it is I just write. I just free associative write my way back into my song. So it means kind of writing back around the premise, like what the song first meant to me, how the song first felt to me, what I'm trying to say. I write in the voice of the speaker of the song. It's basically about kind of getting yourself back into the frenzy of it, getting yourself back into that, mm, I'm bursting at the seams with the inspiration of this moment. And that can be the emotion of it. That can be, again, the, the thought that you're trying to distill. It can be any little bit that was that first inspiration. But um, I find that language is a great way of tracking that for myself. Some people, they, they're not, I don't know, they're not introverts or they're not writers as much. And then I would just say, talk it. You know, talk to someone. You can converse with someone, dialogue about it. You talk to yourself about it. But I think in either case, I think language is an important element. Because the language is really that connective tissue between the thought and the sound. And that, that's kind of like the stuff of songwriting to begin with. Okay, two, play your song. Play your song as you have written it so far. Don't play it like you're performing it though. You're not, you're not performing it like it's a finished product. That actually will keep you more stuck if you're kind of in some level imagining yourself on the stage. Perform it to get inside it, to break back in. Okay, the third way, I think this might be the most fruitful, kind of the strangest and the newest. Create a change in what you've written. Maybe you love what you've written. Maybe you don't wanna change a thing about it. Every chord is perfect. Every word is perfect. I'm here to tell you, Perfect is not your friend in this moment. You gotta mess it up. Get back in there by swapping in a different chord and then hearing where that new chord progression wants to send you. Get back in there by changing the melody and then singing where that new melodic gesture sends you. Get back in there by changing words. Throw in completely random words. I, I mean, you can fake it like that. Just. Throw in gibberish, but throw words in there to get you writing in a different direction. It might be painful because you love what you've written, but if you change it, suddenly, wow, it's not static. I'm not excluded from it. It's, it's still in motion. It's a little trick to get you back to that initial wave, that first moment where you're making the first decisions. Here's a little secret. 
<laughs> don't tell, but you can always go back in after the fact and change that part back to the way you really liked it. <laughs> but making that change, even temporarily, is going to shake you out of this feeling of I can't get back in. It's going to shake you forward. I hope that you all write and finish songs <laughs> this year. I wish that for you. I wish you so much ease and joy in your songwriting process. And by all means, let me know how it's going.